The Lord be with you. And also with you. Uh, welcome to worship. We gather again this evening for Holden Evening Prayer. Uh, tonight, and then one more week next week, uh, we'll have Holden Evening Prayer. And then we'll find ourselves in Holy Week. Uh, Lent is fast coming to a close. Uh, this night we have the good gift of the choir leading us in Holden Evening Prayer. Uh, so rather than a canter up front, um, you can simply sing with the choir. They'll lead us in all of the parts. And uh, that includes folks who are participating remotely by Zoom. Uh, but let us join together in worship. Let us sing Holden Evening Prayer.
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. During our midweek evening prayer, uh, during Holden evening prayer throughout this season of Lent, uh, we are pausing in the midst of worship to do a kind of reflection reading uh, and and an invitation to you to participate in this reading with me. Uh, The readings themselves come from the Easter vigil service, a traditional service uh, preparing uh, people to be baptized and going through the great stories uh, of faith some of these most memorable. Uh, Tonight we will hear the first part of the story of Jonah, uh, Jonah and the great fish. Uh, Again, a story that is very familiar to us, but this night I would invite you to reflect with me, to remember that God's word is a living word, which means God speaks to us in and through these words uh, on the page. I invite you actually perhaps to close your eyes, uh, to relax, Um, And as I read this story of Jonah, pay attention to what particular word uh, might be speaking to you. Uh, Maybe it's an image, maybe it's a feeling, but just try to settle in, take some deep breaths and relax, and listen for what God might be lifting up for you in this story. Uh, So often I think we rush through these stories, uh, but we're invited to settle in, breathe deeply, and listen for God speaking to us. From the book of Jonah. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai, saying, Go at once to Nineveh, that great city, and cry out against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah set out to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid his fare and went on board to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord hurled a great wind upon the sea, and such a mighty storm came upon the sea that the ship threatened to break up. Then the mariners were afraid, and each cried to his God. They threw the cargo that was in the ship into the sea to lighten it for them. Jonah, meanwhile, had gone down into the hold of the ship and had laid down and was fast asleep. The captain came and said to him, What are you doing? Sound asleep. Get up. Call on your God. Perhaps the God will spare us a thought so that we do not perish. The sailors said to one another, Come, let us cast lots so that we may know on whose account this calamity has come upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell on Jonah. Then they said to him, Tell us why this calamity has come upon us. What is your occupation? Where do you come from? What is your country? And of what people are you? I am a Hebrew, he replied. I worship the Lord the God of heaven who made the sea and the dry lands. Then the men were even more afraid and said to him, What is it that you have done? For the men knew that he was fleeing from the presence of the Lord because he had told them so. Then they said to him, What shall we do to you that the sea may quiet down for us? For the sea was growing more and more tempestuous, He said to them, Pick me up and throw me into the sea. Then the sea will quiet down for you, for I know it is because of me that this great storm has come upon you. Nevertheless, the men rowed hard to bring the ship back to land, but they could not, for the sea grew more and more stormy against them. Then they cried out to the Lord, Please, O Lord, we pray, do not let us perish on account of this man's life. Do not make us guilty of innocent blood, for you, O Lord, have done as it pleased you. So they picked up Jonah and threw him into the sea. 
and the sea ceased from its raging. Then the men feared the Lord even more, and they offered a sacrifice to the Lord and made vows. But the Lord provided a large fish to swallow up Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish. As we receive a musical offering this night, uh, you have time to reflect on God's word. And I also invite you to reflect on God's call to generosity. Our cause of the month uh, here in March, and really this is the last worship service we have in March, is our Savior Shelter. Uh, all gifts designated cause of the month will go to support that good ministry that we share in supporting with other churches uh, of our Savior Shelter. And again, there is information on that in the worship folder. We receive a musical offering. The light shines in the darkness, and the, and the darkness, darkness has not overcome it.
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Go in peace, love one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.